Good day, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Bible Chatter. And yes, it is Jesus calling. Jesus is calling. Better answer it. So how you guys doing? I hope you're all having a great day. My day is pretty good. <laughs> um, <coughs> you know, it's just nothing spectacular happened. I'm just uh, full of peace and joy, happy to be a Christian, happy to be part of uh, the church. And, uh, you know, so I'm just trying to put things together with my life. And uh, <coughs> my dad's not doing well. He's sickly. My grandfather's sickly. And uh, things are not going well with them. So uh, I got to pray on it some more. And, uh, but, you know, <laughs> but the show must go on. So today's, <laughs> today's episode is going to be titled, Are You Ready? Question mark. Are you ready? So, <laughs> but before we get in to that, <laughs> I will first say a prayer for us before we get started. And guys, <coughs> if you guys would like for me to start doing prayer meetings on Sundays, <laughs> uh, we could I could do it live to where you guys could join in as I'm on the air. <laughs> you guys could join in and, and if you want me to pray for you right there, you could be live with me while I do it. I mean, you guys wouldn't be on video with me, but you guys would be watching live with me. And in the comment section, you could comment and I'll pray for you live and you'll be able to join me. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and when I say the Lord's Prayer, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, <laughs> you guys could say the Lord's Prayer too at the same time as me and we could pray together. So if you guys are interested in joining me on prayer meetings <laughs> on Sundays, or if you'd like for me to do it, just leave a like and comment yes uh, on the post that I left in regards to the situation. So with that being said, <laughs> we are going to get into the sermon. <clears throat> but first, I would like to go into prayer. <laughs> Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed and sacred be your name. Your kingdom will come, and it will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For you are the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, <clears throat> Son of the Most High, I give you praise and I give you thanks, Father, <laughs> for being my Lord and Savior and for shedding your blood and breaking your body on the cross for me. I thank you, Father. And I pray that you open the eyes and ears and minds of all the people who watch my show and I pray that these words that talk about you soak in to the people's ears. <laughs> I hope that they hear and listen to what I'm saying. And I pray that they soften their hearts and minds and turn to you and surrender their lives to you, Lord Jesus. I pray that more and more people do that each day. And once again, <clears throat> Man, I got mucus. Sorry. Once again, I pray for the people in Louisiana. Those poor people. I pray for those people, Lord. Help those people. I pray that you put your hedge of protection and bring comfort to those people that are in dire need right now, Lord Jesus. I ask this humbly. 
In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Are you ready? You must meet God in comparison with this question. All others are utterly insignificant. You may be successful in business, <clears throat> have a wonderful family, and be healthy in both body and mind. <laughs> you may even be religious and respected by all. <laughs> but can you say with certainty that you are ready to meet God? Are you ready? <laughs> to be ready to meet God requires a new birth. Jesus said, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. That is John 3.3. 3. <laughs> this statement has no exceptions. <laughs> it cannot be ignored. <laughs> and it was given by the Lord Jesus Christ. Have you been born again? <laughs> the need for new birth arises from the fact that we are all sinners. By birth and by practice. Sin is contrary to the nature of God. <laughs> he hates and despises sin. Okay? And it keeps us from having fellowship with him. The Bible declares that God is of pure eyes <laughs> to behold evil and cannot look on iniquity. But while God hates sin, he loves sinners. <laughs> In fact, he loves us whether we walk the clean or filthy side of the road to hell. Because he loves us, he has provided the way for us to be restored to fellowship with him. <laughs> God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and whoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. <laughs> God's judgment for sin fell upon Christ on the cross and there is cleansing and forgiveness for all who believe in him <laughs> as many as received him to them gave he power to become the sons of God even to them that believe on his name John 1 12 <laughs> through new birth by receiving Christ Jesus, by believing he died for my sins, I am born into the family of God and can answer the question, are you ready? With a glad and confident yes. Have you known this change? <laughs> Have you experienced this new birth? Have you turned to God in repentance, <laughs> admitting that you are a sinner in need of salvation? Have you given up the false idea that you can earn God's favor through your own good works? <laughs> Have you by faith accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord? <laughs> Do not resent these personal questions, for they are intended to lead you to blessing. If I were to tell you a path to wealth and fame, you would probably be very interested. <laughs> what Jesus Christ offers you, forgiveness of sins and eternal life with him in heaven, <laughs> is of infinite value. Put the matter to the test. Do it now. The terms are simple. This is his commandment, <laughs> that we should believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ. 1 John 3.23 Will you receive him? <laughs> the living Christ of God who died, rose again, and now offers salvation to all who believe on him. Will you trust him now? <laughs> As your very own Savior. It is not the reception of a creed or identification with a church, or becoming a religious person that saves. <clears throat> it is the acceptance of a person, 
the sons of God. Your acceptance or rejection of him answers the solemn question, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? It is appointed unto men once to die, <laughs> but after this, the judgment. <laughs> Hebrews 9.27 when you stand before God, will you be stained with your sin or will you have been washed clean through faith in Jesus Christ? The issue is very clear. Your response to Jesus Christ now will determine your destiny for eternity. <laughs> Neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men <laughs> whereby we must be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Acts 4.12, 16.31 Guys, it is very, very, very important. It is very, very important that we make sure that we have a solid relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we can study the Bible all we want. <laughs> okay? We can know the Word of God all we want. But if we do not have a good, healthy prayer life, if we do not pray to Jesus at least one time a day, if you don't devote at least a half hour to an hour a day of prayer, then, then, my friend, <coughs> I, I, I strongly suggest whether you feel like praying or not, Satan will remove your desire to pray, and you won't. Even if you don't feel like it. Even if the words that are coming out of your mouth are hard to say. <laughs> say them anyway. Pray. Let God know that you're struggling to want to pray <laughs> and ask that he restores your desire to pray, that he restores your desire to thirst and hunger for him and to, and to serve him and to live for him. It's very important. It's very important <laughs> that we have solid, true Christian faith. The, the, the word Christian is being thrown around too loosely today. <laughs> Everybody's a Christian. But 85% of these people won't go to heaven come, come Judgment Day. <laughs> they say they're Christians. <laughs> but they, they might be Christians on Sunday, but then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, they're sinning and living double life. But then on Sunday, they're holy. They're reading their Bible. They're saying their kumbayas. And they're saying their Hail Marys. And they're praying. And they're, and they're giving two bucks to the church. And they think they're golden. No. 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 Stop it. You're either all in or you're all out. <laughs> Jesus doesn't want you doing this. Straddling the fence. You got to hop over either into this side or you hop over on the other side. <laughs> but Jesus doesn't want you straddling the fence. <laughs> and I'm not going to straddle a fence because it'll hurt my ball sack. <laughs> I don't mean to be gross. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I was going to say my private parts. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that word. <laughs> but I, I'm just, I'm getting emotional because I literally know people that think that they're going to heaven and that they're Christians and they live a total life of sin. And they think they're going to heaven. They're on the fence. And so when I talk about this topic, <coughs> I tend to get a little, I don't know, kind of a little frustrated a little bit. You know, everybody's a Christian in, in words coming out of their mouth, but no one wants to share the word of God with anybody. <laughs> Nobody wants to help anybody. Nobody wants to pray. They're too worried about themselves and their promotions and their, and their social media, Instagrams and all that. 
No, man. Come on. If you if you're gonna call yourself a Christian, <laughs> then then there better be. If you were a, ask yourself this, I'm gonna and, and then the, I'm gonna end this show. If you were arrested <coughs> for being a Christian, would there be enough evidence to convict you, or would the evidence set you free? With that being said, <laughs> that's food for thought. If you were arrested for being a Christian, would you stay in jail? Would you? Would there be enough evidence to convict you? So with that being said, stay good, stay godly in Jesus, and love your neighbor as yourself. As followers of Christ, as part of his church, it is up to us to show and share the message, his gospel, and how we need to be. <laughs> we need to share the message with all people and let them know. So if you guys can't share the word with others, do your part by sharing my shows. When you're done watching this episode, share it, please. Do your part in sharing Jesus' message to others. Share it on your timeline. Not so they like me. I don't want, I don't care. <laughs> I want them to hear what I'm talking about. I want people to go to heaven, not hell. So if, if you would please share my shows on your timeline, I would greatly appreciate it. It's only helping the cause. And Jesus will remember it when you face him. You shared Eli's videos <laughs> and he was talking my word. So thank you. He'll say so. All right, I'll see you next time on Bible Chatter.